She say that she a wanderlust, but she ain't seen the world so much to do at 21. You feel invincible, so hard to find someone to trust. She's still a daddy's girl, she wanna be an actress and a singer like Athena. And she a movie buff, but she ain't seen breakfast at Tiffany's a breakfast club. That's just before her time, so hard to keep a conversation. When your mind's on vacation, you got pretty green eyes, I can see them all the signs, girl. YouTube, it's me, Ashley E, and today is a very exciting day because I am taking y'all with me to the gym and we will be training some back and biceps. With that being said, you all will finally get to see my current physique and how I typically train. And again, I am not sponsored, I am not getting paid, I'm not doing this to try to get famous. I am just your average girl who has a passion about health, fitness, and nutrition. I am learning, growing, and increasing my knowledge every single day. And I'm nowhere, nowhere near my dream physique. And that's why I created this channel, because I want to watch myself grow. And I want to help motivate and inspire those who are in this journey as well. So enough jibber jabber, and let's get into this workout. First things first, before any workout, I like to stretch and I like to warm up. I like warming up because I want the blood flowing through my body as well as a good and steady heart rate. I typically like to warm up on the treadmill. I like an incline of 15 and I kind of go at a steady pace or I like to jog for about a mile. And I always stretch. It's either statically or dynamically. And the number one thing that I normally do is I like to foam roll. As you see in this video, I am foam rolling. It hurts so freaking badly, but it really, really helps in the long run. And I've noticed the more that I foam roll, the more that I stretch before any workout, the less injuries that I have, and it just makes my body feel like I did something. So moving on to the very first exercise, I did unilateral bent over rows with a dumbbell. In this workout, I like to keep my back straight as much as possible and I'm constantly pulling with my lats, and I'm doing my absolute best not to pop my shoulder out of its socket. Um, as you see in this video, I'm slow and controlled, and I'm not jerking in any way possible, because I really like to focus on contracting my lats. The more you jerk, I feel like you're losing form, you're losing technique, and all that other good stuff. Next, I did barbell bent over rows. I keep my body parallel to the ground. I really like this exercise because you can switch the grips. You can do overhand, you can do underhand, you can go close grip, wide grip, you know. And the more that you switch your grip, you are targeting different muscle areas in your body. And try not to use your upper back in this one. You really wanna focus on your lower back with this exercise. So yeah, that is barbell bent over rows. I did four sets, about 10 reps each. Moved on to lateral pull downs. I am constantly, constantly struggling with this exercise. Um, I felt like I wasn't doing it properly before and so I switched things up a little bit. As you see, I'm f as far back in the seat as much as possible. And my form and technique is I like to keep my back straight with a slight arch. Um, sometimes we'll even notice that I'm literally at a slouch and I pull and contract muscle mind connection as much as possible pulling down with my lats. Next exercise, I did cable back extensions. In this exercise, you will tend to notice that you are pulling and engaging with your shoulders. If you are purely just isolating your shoulders, you are doing this exercise incorrectly. 
So to avoid that, decrease the weight and really focus on your form and technique. And you really want to pull, contract as much as you possibly can and squeeze your back. Here, I'm pausing shortly because I'm squeezing as much as I possibly can with my back and not my shoulders. And unfortunately, time was not my friend this night, so I was only able to do one bicep workout, and I did hammer curls. If you were to do regular bicep curls, you are increasing the peak of your biceps. So I like to think of Popeye the Sailor Man. His, when he eats spinach, his biceps go super long up and down. With hammer curls, you really are getting the longevity and the width and the length of your biceps. So you're going more so for this way, longer this way, than you are up and down. So yeah, hammer curls are your friend. They're my friend. I'd rather do hammer curls than bicep curls because my arms are a little bit on the chunkier side, but that's that. And the very, very, very last exercise that I did in this video will end is deadlifts. I absolutely love, love, love deadlifts. They are a compound movement. It engages your back, your core, and your legs. And since it is a compound movement, injury is overly common due to improper technique and form. So deadlifts are a great exercise. They're amazing. So really try not to sacrifice your form in any way. And if you're looking for a wider back, really switch your grip to a wider grip. So wider, wider the grip, wider the back. My friends is the end of the workout and I really 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 hope that you enjoyed it if you have any pro tips any advice comment down below I am open to anything so yeah give this video a thumbs up hit that little bell at the top be sure to comment subscribe share you know all the good stuff but yeah thanks again for watching y'all and I'll see you in the next one she said that she a wanderlust, but she ain't seen the world so much to do at 21. You feel invincible, so hard to find someone to trust. She's still a daddy's girl, she wanna be an actress and a singer like Selena.